Welcome back to Project Camaro. Today we are swapping the gas tank. So what does a gas tank have to do with an LS swap? When you have a carburetor, you have an entirely different fuel injection system. What? You have a gas tank that gravity feeds to a low pressure fuel pump, generally located on the engine itself, which then goes up to the carburetor at a pretty low PSI. With fuel injection, on the other hand, you typically run two, three bar worth of pressure. You actually have a gas tank with a fuel pump inside of it. So as opposed to modifying the factory gas tank, what we're gonna do is swap out the gas tank from Holly, which is supposed to be just a plug and play. So we'll go for it today. So here's the gas tank kit as it comes from Holly. We'll go through a couple of the parts here and explain what each one of these do. You can probably guess what this is. It's the actual gas tank. It's a pretty nice looking unit. It's pretty clean looking. I can believe this will bolt right in and look OEM. Instructions. This is gonna end up looking something like that probably. It's a gas tank filler. Some bolts and gaskets so we can hook this all up. You do get new straps with this kit. So if you have really old, the 50 year old straps on your gas tank, they'll look pretty and new. The kit's inclusive, comes with a fuel pump, a brand new fuel injection hanger, as well as a brand new fuel level sensor, and a little floaty ball to sit inside of the gas tank so that you know your sensor works. So now our next step will be assembling this and getting it ready to go into the car. We finished the assembly of the gas tank hanger and sending unit here for fuel level. The next step is going to be taking these and sticking them into the actual gas tank itself. It's a pretty tight fit. Make sure as you're doing this that you've already got the gasket. Uh, actually up there you can see the bolts and the holes are tight enough to where the, the gasket will actually hold the bolts there for you. Slowly move that in there. Sure you tuck everything good and that you're not going to go pinch any wires or anything like that and hey we're in there i'm going to leave that sitting alone until we actually get the gas tank up there and figure out which way these uh, lines should actually go based on how the oem one goes All right, the gas gauge sending unit as delivered by holly is actually too tall to fit in the tank delivered by holly so what you have to do here is take off this screw and we're going to actually take out the middle bracket and then mount the uh, the black thing all the way to the top bracket here. The instructions actually say that if you read them, but you know, who does that, right? So this actually ended up pretty short overall. Following the directions, that's about how it should work. And you can tell that's how it should work because this float will go all the way up to what amounts to the top of the tank and all the way to the bottom of the tank even though it looks a lot shorter than how it comes out of the box. Now when it comes to putting it in here, put that in there. You can see that this will actually not physically fit. And we're going to have to cut the bottom of this bracket off right down here. Cut the bottom of the bracket off right down here so we can get it physically in the hole. We've reassembled it here. You can see we're not quite halfway in there, but we're still not lower than the bottom part. So let's see if it'll actually fit now. There we go. And now we can actually get in there. It doesn't bottom out, and we already know that it otherwise is correct. We'll get some screws in there so that these two things don't bounce around while we're moving it around, and then we'll work on getting the stock fuel tank out of the car. Time to take the stock gas tank out. Or it looks like one nut here, one nut here, the straps will come down. It's an awful lot like there's plenty of room for the gas uh, filler neck to just slide right out. Two fuel lines right here. So we'll take these two fuel lines off, take some bolts out and see what happens. We're gonna take out the screws and clamps here and pull it off all nicely, but this is carbureted line. We're gonna have to replace it anyway. So there's one, there's two. They're both off. All right, so there's a good shortcut for you. Don't bother with that. If you're doing this, you're gonna replace the entire fuel line from tank to front anyway. 
And then we also have one other line going to, I don't know where, but we're going to replace it anyway. All right, that's cut too. Next up is the strap. We've got our jack under here, and we're getting ready to impact off each side of the straps, and then the saw to start coming down. Let's see. We got one extra wire here. We cut that wire, it looks like we're free. We'll go ahead and slide on out now. So this tank has four total fuel lines coming in and out of it. There's one here, one here, which is very obviously the uh, ascending, and then two over there coming out as well. We're gonna look up under the car and figure out what that goes to because our fuel injection tank only has an in and out. And with the gas tank out, we now know which way the fuel sending and returning should be, which is out this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these in, get this thing ready to actually sit up there. So this is gonna to have to slide all the way in. The original was eight and a half inches. We need to get it there too. If you look at it, it's almost all the way in. We could just cut this, but I'm gonna slide it all the way in instead. So put some lubricant on it. Now, a lot of times with intercooler pipes or something, we'll do water, but this is a gas tank and we don't want the gas to uh, get water in it. So we'll loop this up. It should slide right in. Tape measure. See if that's about eight and a half inches. And now it's on. So we're done setting up the top of the tank here. We have our send and receive for the fuel. We've got our fuel pump labeled for a 12 volt and ground here. We've got signal as well as ground for the actual fuel level. And then we've got this hooked up and and this here, in case you're wondering, is a valve. So this is a vent for the tank, uh, and this is a valve, and if you flip the car over, this valve will actually shut so you don't end up in a bad scenario where fuel is shooting onto the ground everywhere. That's a wrap for our gas tank install. It's in there. The only thing left is to hook the, uh, all the electrical up and the fuel lines up. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the electrical hooked up when we're hooking the electrical up on the engine later. Now, as a reminder for those that like the LS swap stuff, we're continuing on with Project Camaro. I think what's gonna happen on next episode is we're gonna swap the oil pan out for an F-body oil pan. And we're gonna go ahead and get it bolted up into the chassis there. Uh, join us next time. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Later.